Hello, this is Daniel Martz, and today I'm going to be doing a review for Norm of the North. Yeah. This movie stars Rob Schneider, Heather Graham, Bill Nye, Ken Jeon, Loretta Devine, and Cole Meany. Meany. Whatever. I just realized... I watched two. I I watched two Loretta Divine movies on the same weekend day. Norm of the Mon Norm of the North and Caged No More. Caged No More was actually a pretty good movie. <sighs> Ten second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already. I feel bad for you. First off, ten second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to watch this movie. And I'm ready. Stop the video. Go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds for the warning as we go starting now. <sighs> okay. 10 seconds are up. So for those who have yet to actually watch the movie and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair one because as usual, I did. So yeah, Norm of the North. I'm pretty sure this is going to win some awards come 2017. I don't know. I've already heard some Oscar buzz for this. Or was it Razzie's? I mean, I don't know. I mean, what kind of movie? I mean, yeah, fuck. Synopsis. Basically a twerking polar bear. It's trying to save the North Pole before it becomes the next hot... Resort, I guess. Vacation resort destination. Why? In Antarctica, why? Um, so he's trying to find his grandpa and trying to stop builders, this corporation, from building resorts in the Arctic. And yeah, a twerking polar bear. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay. One thing. I will say, one positive thing I will say, the voice acting is actually pretty decent, I guess. There's two things I normally don't complain, I normally don't complain when it comes to an animated movie. The animation, and the voice acting. Reasons being, because I expect the animation for a movie to at least be somewhat decent, and I, honestly, I don't notice voice acting, to be honest, I, I suck at noticing bad voice acting. Um, so yeah, the voice acting is actually pretty decent, I guess, but then again, that's like one of those few things I just I'm kind of blind to when it comes to a movie. Like yeah, I mean, that's one of those things I just kind of don't pay attention. I'm just kind of blind to when it comes to an animated movie. I just don't really pay attention to the voice acting, like if it fits the voice or whatever. That's normally one of those things I just don't pay attention to. So the voice acting I'm not gonna complain about. The animation, holy shit! Oh my gosh! Fuck! Oh my gosh! The animation was. It was fucking terrible. From the first shot, the first, okay, the first shot is kind of like this view, it's like an upper view, kind of goes like this, where it's like the camera, camera or whatever, kind of just like pans down and just kind of goes like this across the air, you know, like this. Like here's the land, and the camera's like right here, so it's kind of just passing through the land. We have an overview shot. The first shot is like a boat, it's like this boat or cruise, and that shit looks unfinished. And just throughout the whole movie, this whole the animation throughout this whole movie is just astoundingly horrendous. I was thinking like this is like straight to DVD or straight to TV crap. And then I'm thinking the only straight to TV sections would be channels. It'd be on is like Nickelodeon and Disney and maybe even Cartoon Network. And I'm thinking even they have better animation than this. So straight to DVD. Come to find out that it started all the way back in the '90s. This is a project since the '90s, but it was meant to be straight to DVD, and then it had a theatrical release because Rob Schneider, I guess, I guess Rob Schneider, because, yeah, I mean, I know Loretta Devine shot, so I didn't have anything to do with it, but maybe Bill Nye and Ken Jeong, Ken Jeong, and maybe Heather Graham, but Rob Schneider had to be the main reason, because fuck, um, and the, and the plot doesn't make any fucking sense, like, who wants to live in fucking Antarctica, e even the, like, even scientists who live, like, in the North Pole or Antarctica or whatever, who do research, they don't even want to be there because the weather fucking sucks ass. So, you know, who if the scientists themselves 
realistically do not want to be there because of the climate. Like, they wouldn't want to live there because of the climate. Like, if they had an option to live here or there, like, if, like would you rather live in Antarctica or Miami? How many people would choose Antarctica over Miami? Okay? So, or some shit like that, okay? Who would want to go to begin with? And then, apparently, this polar bear, Norm, he has the power to talk to humans or some shit like that that he got from his grandfather and and whatever. But we see, but we li we see a scene where Norm is with his his two polar bear friends, and one of the polar bear friends talks to the girl. Then Norm talks to the girl. And it's like, oh my gosh, Norm talked to me and some shit like that. The little girl, you think, oh my gosh, this polar bear talked to me, even though his friend Norm's friend literally just talked to her like two seconds before. So the plot is so stupid. Uh. Yeah, I'm I'm bullshitting this review. I'm not gonna lie. Like normally, I normally I'd be in a different setup, but right now I'm laying back on my bed because this is one of those reviews, one of those movies, better said, that I just do not give a shit about. Okay, like there's like most of the movies I've reviewed, I I think they have they have some they should have some amount of respect. Even the ones where I put where I fucking ranted, if there's movie reviews in which I have ranted, I even I put some kind of decency into those movie reviews because. I felt it was my duty to rant properly, okay? Here, I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking bullshitting this review. I, I'm, I'm laying back in my bed, okay? I, I don't know if you can see it, but my pillow's right there. Fucking baseball bat shit, okay? I'm laying back in my bed. I just don't give a shit about this movie, okay? I think we may have just seen the worst, one of the worst movies of this year. I'm not being kidding. I mean, I knew January was gonna bring us something bad, but January so far was going good. You know, with movie, I mean, The Forest was actually pretty decent, okay? I'm not gonna lie, The Forest was pretty decent, okay? Caged No More was pretty decent. 13 Hours, that was actually pretty good. Dirty Grandpa and Ride Along 2, they were pretty good. I heard, I heard The Boy is pretty decent. It's not a good horror movie by any means, I heard. But I heard that uh, stylistically looks pretty good. So I'm excited to see that. And, well, n fucking January just decided to fuck it up with Norman and North. I mean, then again, Prescription Thugs was also a pretty bad movie, to be honest, but that's, uh, that was more of a limited release situation, so I'm not really going to count it against, but fuck. Um, this may be the worst animated movie I've ever seen. I'm not even going to lie. Um, prior to this, it was epic. I didn't really like epic. It was, I think that was the first movie I kind of, or one of the first movies I kind of realized that movies normally aren't that great, and that was epic. But I will have to say, Epic had good anime. For the most part, that movie had good animation, and it had an interesting story. Did it execute it correctly? No, but it still had an interesting story. The, and at least the story and the plot made sense to a certain degree in Epic, and it had some pretty decent animation. Here, the animation is shit, basically. It's shit to the highest degree. Um, and yeah, and why a twerking polar bear or some shit like that? That makes no fucking sense. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kill this movie. I'm just, I'm just gonna... Pull the plug on this movie. Um, it's some PSA. It's a PSA movie about the environment that nobody gives a shit about. I was. I, it's one of those few movies where I'm just embarrassed to be there. Okay, because I'm a teenager. I'm a 17 year old teenager watching this really crappy animated movie. Okay, I left five minutes before the movie ended. Okay, um, and the janitor or whatever, whoever cleans the theater, he's like, you watch this. I'm like. My little brother's in here. I had to take him. My the rest of my family's in here, so I'm like, I kind of bullshit my way out because I didn't. I it was one of those movies I was kind of embarrassed to go to. So yeah, and there's also um Chris Stuckman. He kind of touched upon this a bit of how the director or whatever the filmmaker is in love basically with cross. I don't know what's it called cross fades or whatever. You know when it kind of just fades to black and then comes back to more like. Fades to black, and then comes back to more movie. Fades to black, more movie, and they did that on a couple of occasions. And I'm like, and that's normally something I don't notice. Like the like, if there's crappy editing, I won't notice it. But I won't notice a certain style of editing unless it's like shaky cam or some crap, or where it's used excessively. This is one of those times where it's like cross dissolves or cross fades or whatever. It's just used excessively. Okay. Um. So yeah, and. Pretty funny enough, um, because Chris Stuckman also said this in his review, how there's children who were bored out of their minds in this movie, 
yeah, there's actually there's little kids in this in this um, movie theater who are bored shitless out of their minds. And the funny thing is here, I I came in when I first came into the room, the theater room, it was empty, no parents, and I thought I guess parents read the reviews and they didn't want to torture the kids. Five minutes before the movie starts, a bunch of kids started coming out with parents and whatever. Okay, towards the end of the movie, there was this kid, um, who who was watching a movie. A cross dissolve comes in, and he's like. Is it over? More movie, okay, more movie. About two or three minutes afterwards, I go to another cross is off. He's like, is it over now? More movie. So I'm like, I feel bad for this. And I was laughing. Be I was laughing because of what the kids said. So, yeah, the thing is, I was in the top row. So I was just embarrassed to be there. <sighs> Shit. Well, January, it didn't disappoint. It still gave us one really crappy, shitty-ass movie. You never fail to disappoint, January. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the last, and 6 being decent, I'm going to give this movie a 1 out of 10. Yeah. That's basically it for this review. Probably the most bullshit review I've ever done, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, it's basically for the review. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do movie reviews, series reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the movie. Have you seen it? And if not, why not? And if you have, I feel bad for you. And why? And why? Yeah, you know, all that stuff. If you're a parent that dragged their child to watch this, I feel bad for you. Comment your thoughts on the movie. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you prefer. And, yeah, it's basically it for now. This is Daniel Marks signing off.